hello we are testing for mediation a uh, important criteria for checking for mediation suppose we have a construct x and construct y that should be a direct relationship between x and y or in other words a significant relationship now you introduce a mediator m then we need to have a direct relationship between the construct and the mediator a should be significant b should be significant and c dash should be significant or non significant if it is non significant it is full mediation if it is significant but the strength of significance has reduced then it could be a partial mediation so in other words there are four steps the first step in this example we are going to take environmental perception and staying intention we establish or we will be establishing a direct relationship between environmental perception and staying intention subsequently we would be analyzing with a mediator here what would be the impact the mediator in this case is job satisfaction and then we would be analyzing the strength and staying intention and then the environmental perception and staying intention if the strength of the relationship is significant and reduced then we support a partial mediation if it is significant it has not reduced then it's not a mediating model if the strength of relationship as is non significant then it indicates a mediating a fully mediating model in order to explain this we have a data set here <coughs> So first we are going to do a regressional analysis between environmental perception and staying intention in this case the environmental perception is the independent variable and the dependent variable is staying intention so we plug it in Here we are. The results. It explains point four nine three. It's fine. Then I look at the standardized, unstandardized coefficients of beta, the standard error, and the standardized coefficient beta. And I put it in an Excel sheet. I've designed here an Excel sheet. So here A, the step one. we established direct relationship we copy here in this the standardized error 0.502 the se error and 0.493 now we would be doing a mediation check or in other words we need to know the relationship between here the independent variable in this case would be job satisfaction the dependent variable independent variable would be the same and here we see the results yes it's significant we copy it down in an excel sheet here for the third 
regression we will be this time what we will be doing is the staying in tension which is our final model will come here and we need to do at a time test the two relationship of independent variables okay so we have independent variable environmental perception and job uh, job satisfaction this is regressed on this regress on si that's staying in tension you see the step 3 will we will note this value and put it in and in step 4 is the relationship between EP and the staying intention with the mediator so if you look at it here C here it was significant however the strength of relationship has decreased from 0 0.502 to 0 0.489 however if you look at the significance level here it's significant at 0 0.0001 level and also here at point zero 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 level so the significant level has not changed however the strength is reduced this could be a model for partial mediation however we need to conduct a Sobel's test so in Sobel's test we calculate the values based on this equation we get the z value and from the z value we calculate the p value that is 1 minus the area under the curve since it's a two tail significance 0 0.00 uh, uh, two tail significance hence we need to multiply it by 2 and finally we get this value 0 0.046 which means it is significant at 0 0.05 level this tool is designed can be designed in an excel in case you all need it you can contact us Yes, that's it. Thank you.